Hey everyone, it's Amadur. Okay, so I know this is like a weird angle that I have you guys set at because I... And look, I have my, my Netflix fireplace going just to give you guys that little Christmas feel. The, um, I wanted to make some videos for December because I'm crazy enough to try to attempt a video a day in December. So, um, I thought I was going to be able to get everything in the shop, but I guess not. Like, literally, this, it, you should see the setup right now I have going on in my craft room. It's a little bit nuts. So, what we are going to do today, though, let me move some of these items out of the way to make it easier for me. Um, we are going to make, I got these items here. I am, let's see, I'm trying to see where I'm at here. Okay, I'm going to try to attempt to make one of those redone towers with like the bowls and stuff like that. So I'm trying to, seriously, why am I trying to figure out this lighting right now? Um, so sorry for the weird angles or whatnot. The shadowing, the shadowiness. We'll, we'll try to figure it out. All right, so... I got these. I wanted to make one of these. Because let's be honest, a lot of this redone stuff is just purely decorative. We are literally just going to use it as decoration. So I was fortunate enough, oh sorry, to find these melamine bowls. And these are the ones that say, Tis the season, Merry Christmas, and fa la la. I wanted to make one of those little display towers where everybody, you know, shows all of this stuff. I've seen people do them, like, I think it's like, I have no idea, whatever. But I was like, okay, well, what am I going to do? How are we going to set this up? So I figured I would use like some little acrylic cups or something like that inside. And, um... So this is what I got. Like I said, I just got pretty fortunate to find these and I'm going to, ha I have some ornaments that I found also. Grab them. Oop. Some of these that I found from this set and I found this set to, to use in my decor. Now, I, this is what I got. So I found these and I have these. These are from Target. They come in different colors. These are just acrylic or whatever, BPA-free, whatever cups that they have. They have two sizes. They have a small one and this larger one. Anyway, they're in the kids' um, plastic plateware section in Target. So they have blue, red, like all of these colors. I got green because I was going to put greener in here, and I figured this would help fade in. Fade it. Um, I got some of these also from Target. These are... Organic candy canes, they're actually really, really good. <laughs> so what I'm going to use is these Zots. Now these are 3D adhesive dots. I've used them many times to, let's see, they're pretty big. I've used them many times when I'm making uh, gift baskets and you wanna set everything and adhere everything. These are what I call those um, display boogers because whenever you're getting any gift baskets or something, they have tons of these little goopy things that I that they use to keep um, things from moving. So I'm just going to clear the dust this off a little bit because if not, they're not going to adhere. Now, you want to make sure, you, so this is my plan. I have no idea if this is gonna work, okay? Um, I'm going to put them like this and you also want to check with your cup if it's going to fit this way or this way. So on the first one, from the medium one, it's going to be like this because it fits perfectly in here. Um, you could actually do this too, but I feel like it moves less. So maybe this one or this one, let's see. I should kind of like that one. So that's how that one's going to go. Now the upper one, since it's smaller, I'm going to see if it fits this way. So it doesn't fit in this one like that one does. So we're gonna have to do this one this way. All right. So it's going to go like this. Let's see if I have a good angle. Okay. So it's going to go like this. Now what I'm going to do is, 
Like seriously, this is literally me experimenting. Um, I'm going to waste a couple of these dots. I'm going to put four of them in the four different sizes, as you can see right here. You can put more, honestly, they're not that expensive. I used a coupon. But you want to make sure they're balanced for when you put them in here. Um, is this the center? When you put them, and I'm just gonna press in, and they're gonna literally hold there really well. Let's see, and it's there. Now, this one, oh, and by the way, you wanna make sure that you have everything facing the right way. Now, for this one, I'm going to put them on the inside. Right along, close to the edge. I'll show you in a second. Oh, seriously. They're very sticky. And if you need more than four, go for it. Because this one, I messed it up, so. All right. So they're right here, like this on this one. Let's see if that works. Let me position it first. And I'm going to look underneath to make sure I get it. Press down. And the reason you want to use acrylic glasses or cups is so when you press down, it's not going to break. So there you go. Ta-da! Super cute. I just realized the price tag is still on this stupid thing. Can you see it? Oh my gosh, I'm such a nerd. Okay. So you want to press down, make sure it's nice and sturdy. But look, look. You are good to go. The reason why I do put adhesive dots is because I want it to stand so because I'm going to put some of this greenery. This greenery I got at Hobby Lobby. It's on sale right now for 50% off, and this one was $2.99, so it's $1.50. But they look very realistic. That's why I chose this one. All right, so now to the next one. This one, I think it's going to be easier if we do it this way first. And let's see. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to add to four, four of them. Like I said, you're more than welcome to ask, add more. If you're going to add heavy things in here, I would recommend you add more just in case. And then I'm going to just position it, push them down to hold it in. Am I even in frame? Yeah. So I push these in to hold and if anything they might help see like you now have a <laughs> a ray done torch if you want all right so you can also clean these off with alcohol to make sure that they are clean now we're going to add some to the bottom here now the, it depends if this has if these are flat you can do it right out to the to the center or whatever but these are a little bit have like a little dip in there all right so now we're going to position i'm trying to look at it so sorry if my big head is in frame Hi. <laughs> looking a hot mess <laughs> was that scary all right so and i push it down push it down and there we go so let's see hopefully it's all even and you can even do it this way if you want i've seen some people display them oddly enough so okay that is there let's see are they somewhat even good thing with these glue dots you can kind of move around you can pull them off and everything i mean these will come off um it'll be a little tough but they do come off and this is plastic, so plastic on plastic, it's gonna be super easy. Let me see. Is it mean or do I feel like this one? Okay. All right, so are we still in frame? Let's hope so. Now, what I'm going to do is, I already took off some of these. I was trying to, pr I was practicing to see what I did, what I could do. All right. So they come like this. They're intended to be like this. I've just moved all of the greenery to one side 
folded this. Now you can cut this off, but I chose not to just yet because I could always use them for something different next year. And then just stick it in here. You can add some ribbon. You can add let's see, some ornaments, which I plan to. My own frame. Okay. So you want to, like I said, for $1.50 on these, super easy. Do it like that. Now let me put this on the side. Yeah. And you can curve it to see how far you want it curved. But look at that. You're already on your way to that. And the second one, once again, I bought, like I said, these are, I was I was playing around with. And I'm like, hey, let me do a video. Maybe somebody else is, wants to know how to figure this puppy out. So you're basically making like a, a greenery crown. So. Oop. And you can always pull them out, see if there's anything. Okay, so I'm crazy and there's always like one that drives me nuts. <laughs> one little needle. So there you go. Now I am putting two. You don't have to put two. I'm just crazy. So <laughs> um, I'm going to put two. And I always take off the price tags. Oh my goodness, Amador. All right. I'm, like I said, I'm putting two, but that's only because I'm nuts. It's again, creating your little crown, then you know, that way. And if it's too small, yeah, like literally there's, I honestly feel there's no wrong way. I, on, I didn't check any YouTube videos to see if someone had a tutorial on this. I just basically went, you know, let's try this. Now for the top one, I took the brand, I'm, I'm undoing it. Here's how it is, you know, like that. I pushed them all up to one side, to the top. And then I just started to... Now this one, I may actually use some glue dots as well just because I want it to stay. All right, so basically I'm making like a circle, then I'm spreading these out like a little bowl itself for the needles because whatever I put in here, I want it to hold it. See, super cute. And it doesn't have to be perfect, doesn't have to be like symmetrical. Going for that sweet little farmhouse look so yeah so i think i am going to put some in there but first now let me just accent it with some can oh and so the reason i got these i had i like the color it's kind of like a little faded kind of christmas candy canes um honestly you won't see most of them i kind of think i like them sticking out like that so we can put some upside down so you can see the little um the the tail end because sometimes it's like a peppermint stick i really do like the peppermint stick look and you can use big candy canes i just I literally i wanted to try these and i figured if i didn't like them i could just use them as decor and turns out i actually like them and then just sticking and you can use the little glue dots on the bottom ones i just really wanted to try um try that and like i said these are the wholesome organic they're actually pretty good it's like that vin that old handy made handmade kind of candy um all right so where are my ornaments all right so these are the ornaments like i'm not sure if you guys have seen these these are the ones that i made and these are the actual regular ornaments i found them um i forgot where I don't know why I try to save the twine. Like, I have enough twine. Let's open this. All right. Now, I was just going to put some in here, but how about we put also this? Oh, I think I broke that one. All right. Now, I do want to use these on a tree, but let's be honest, these are heavy. And unless you have an artificial tree, like, your branches are going to be hanging down so let's just zhoosh this up a little bit just 
kind of it just kind of helps with the colors oh i like it kind of offsets some of the um the coloring of all the white and the green kind of looks like snow but not really <laughs> i'm literally experimenting you guys this is how i sometimes do my projects like hey what would this look like and then you're like it looks like crap so yeah not so much now it will look good though let me try something if i if we put it because it's too scrambled at the towards the bottom kind of nesting yeah there we go i kind of like that if it's nesting inside when it's all over it just looks like a mess so let's put it inside like packaging deep inside now if you don't want to mess with this stuff this is what i do because let's be honest you're gonna sit here and be playing with it all day long all right so let me just throw some in here This is just kind of just to kind of break up the colors because nothing's really probably going to go in there. Okay. Here is, let's put the wish one up here. Let's see. The wish, the joy. Now let's be honest. This is not fitting anywhere in here. Okay. Um, what you can do is maybe hook it to one of the things inside. So we will do that. Let us, woo, this one almost rolled off the table, you guys. All right, all right, now. See, like I said, <laughs> this is how I start doing stuff just crazily. And then you're like, hey owner, let's try this one, okay. All right, so I'm going to take the love Put it through this little the thing so it hangs out. Let's see how that works. Let's see how that works. Let me just take out these candy canes. If I need to adhere it, oh no, this I'm gonna adhere it. Hold on. I want it. I actually want it on this side. All right. Remember, these wires you can manipulate and you can bend. All right, I wanted it on this side. So, okay, cool beans. Loving it. All right, let me see. Where am I? Now, I want it hanging off like that. This is where these little glue dots are going to come in again. So, you can also cut off the little papers and have them separately. Now, I'm going to take a little glue dot and I'm going to adhere inside where do i want it i want it here because this is where i want the ornament to hang and this is going to you squeeze it in and it'll hold the ornament because these things are heavy so yes it's happening oh see i don't like it everywhere all right so this one's not going to have any. <laughs> um, just to kind of. Okay, that's it. Not happening. Not happening there. All right. So that's there. Let's go ahead and stick some candy canes in here. Said so I wanted the little. And all of this can be changed and moved. None of it is permanent. I've heard of people using hot glue. And that's great. You can. Just get a box of these, honestly. And you can use them for your gift baskets later. Now, these, I can also put... Let's do that. I'm going to take one, and I use these serrated scissors. Cut them in several pieces. Because I want these... Let's see. I don't want these to move. I don't want these to move. All right. So we're going to use this one here. That 
one right there. We're just gonna pat it underneath to make sure it stays. Now in this one, I want to be like this. So you're going to see where the ornaments are touching and that's where you want this little piece right here. Nobody needs to know. Nobody will know that you have a booger in there. And let's see, I know I divided into three little pieces. You can then take the other one and put it here. You'll see where they are resting. That's where you want to put it. And see, this one moves so because it's being held here. These are staying. Then you just, you know, figure out how you want your little thingies to drop, all kinds of, and look, it looks just, it's just naturally just sitting there, but they're held in. If it get, gets bumped, like the candy cane are moving, but you know, whatever, those are, those are only a couple of bucks. <laughs> um, you can position, now with this one, let's put some more of these candy canes in here just because we have several of them. Um, with this one, you can, um, put some adhesive, a little adhesive on here, which I will, and then we'll just take off a little piece. Oop, see, it's right here. And I'm going to put it on this one. So, I'm just making sure I'm hearing it correctly. Okay. So, it's adhered with a glue dot there and here. So, look, there's a little movement, but because it's a soft dot, so, and if it's in the wrong place, you can always take it off and move it again. However you want to, you just want to make sure it's where the, the item is resting so it's adhered in there. Okay, so this one didn't work out, but it was because I was moving it and it got caught in all of these needles. And don't worry, you can pull these off. There you go. All right. So let's try this one more time because I did move it from its original place. I want it there and I did move from its spot in here. So I'm just gonna add another one of these blue dots here. And then add the one here. All right. A little maybe unnecessary, but this way you are making sure that your ornaments are still Everything is staying and it is super, look, like I have no, oop, <laughs> I'm not worried about it. I literally tilted it over and everything stayed. But hopefully this works. Let me know what you guys think. I, like I said, I, all of these needles, by the way, you can easily look. You can easily move. If you want your sentiments to show off more, all of these are movable because they're all artificial. You can do real ones, trust me, but this is just much easier. These, like I said, are from Hobby Lobby. Sorry about that. They're on sale right now. The ornaments I just happened to find. All of this packaging is going to go there. Um, yeah, and a couple of candy canes. I guess I wanted to do the red ones, but I, I was thinking of doing the red ones, I mean, but I really like these. So there it is. Let me know what you guys think. I am super happy with it. Uh, so yeah, so that is one of my projects that I wanted to do for Christmas ever since I saw these bowls and I have never been able to find, but I totally found them and there we are. Now, the funny thing is, 
I meant to use the red ones. Rah, rah, rah. Because I just realized, but honestly, I like that these black letters kind of um offset because this one says, be merry, drink and eat. Um, this one says joy, uh, uh, wish, joy, love. But truth be told, I could easily switch them out because you saw how easily I was able to put these in. These are the last part of it. So anything can be switched out if you wanted to use these. I'm probably going to use these for another project or just decor as well. Or maybe a gift. Who knows? But yes, so there's that one. So thank you guys for stopping by. And hopefully I didn't drive you guys nuts and any, some of this made sense. So thank you guys for stopping by and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye everyone!